I'm Shane Hinches, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Biomedical Sciences. My lab is very interested in understanding how the brain controls food intake and energy balance. And like any tissue, to understand how the tissue really works, you have to understand the organization of cells in that tissue and connections that those cells make. A huge advance was introduced a couple years ago by the Dizeroth lab, where they showed that you could take any tissue, and here they're showing a mouse brain, that normally is opaque and you can't image through this tissue. And they showed a technique where you could make the tissue clear and the cells and proteins are held in place with a hydrogel that the light from a microscope can penetrate and now you can image through an entire tissue like this mouse brain. And if you take this tissue and you have cells or proteins labeled, you can then put this on the microscope and look at the cells and all of their processes and connections. And as they showed in their original paper from the Dizeroth lab, when cells or proteins are labeled in this clear tissue, you can image all the way through the tissue and get what the cells look like in their entirety. And we are now imaging tissue so we can look the at how these cells the are stage. localized compared to each other and where their connections are made. And the overall idea is to see what changes in anorexia or obesity and to inform more functional studies where we can look at known cells that are interacting and, and ask more functional questions. Ultimately, we hope that the information we're gathering will help determine better approaches to prevent or treat obesity and anorexia. And this clarity approach can be used in any tissue. So this new approach which really we can do now for the first time because of a generous award from the Montfort Family Foundation that allowed us to purchase the equipment necessary to adapt a departmental microscope to be able to handle this large tissue and do very high resolution imaging. And this technique can be applied to any tissue so other investigators across campus can be using this kind of approach to look at different processes and diseases and other tissues as well.